which we will now henceforth refer to as Florida Hospital Relocation. Um, we have uh, Eric Stevens, who is the President and CEO of Florida Hospital Heartland Division, and Denise Grimsley, who is the Administrator of uh, our hospital locally here today. And I've asked them to come so that you could further query them on their perspective relative to the hospital. If you would like to come up, um, we can have some encouraging dialogue here. Thank you so much for coming today. Um, I can tell you that it, this has been really exciting for me to work on. I think it will have a tremendous impact on our community, as I've already stated. And really, for their purposes moving forward, they've got to make some, some really critical decisions on uh, ceasing designing buildings on two different locations and focusing on one. And for that reason, we need the board to take up debate and uh, endorse this endorsement and approval of this project today. Really. And, and, you know, I'll just um, make a couple of comments before we move into that kind of second that, you know, I think that we were all uh, very grateful to hear it's, that it's Senator our, Denise Grimsley. Such a contribution into our community. Um, you know, I, I think State Senator of Denise Grimsley. For a long time, you know, that you both have worked very hard to make that happen. Um, you know, I do want to um, stress to the board and to the community that we make it very clear that we wanted to do whatever we can to support all of the efforts for, for the hospital and bringing this hospital into uh, our community in any way and not have any uh, anything that we are doing be, be a hindrance. Um, but when we approached this this concept, we felt like this is a you know kind of once once in a lifetime opportunity for us to get such an anchor tenant on Highway 17 that would be an economic uh, developer for our entire community and would provide economic uh, boost and synergies for, for the entire community. Um, so we really couldn't pass on this opportunity to uh, approach Eric and um, and Senator Grimsley about discussing an opportunity to maybe find another location that would be more visible in, in the community. There were a lot of logistics to go through with that, and I think I'll explain some of those things. Um, but we're very grateful that you're taking the, the, the opportunity to discuss uh, this with us and how we IDA board members are Lori Durrance, John O'Neill, Monica Reese, Dottie Connerly, Jean Davis, Vanessa Hernandez and Honest Don Samuels. That's it. Seven. Prepared and ready. 
ready to go and planning to build a hospital on the existing site. We're on eight acres. I think someone asked the question if 10 acres is adequate. We currently sit on eight acres, and it would be a bit of a caper to um, figure out how we flow our parking, keep the place dust free, make it easy and uh, confidence inspiring to use if someone is frightened and sick and coming to the hospital and not have to dodge through cement trucks and, and other things. But um, we're very well we're prepared to do that. I defer to the uh, IDA EDC experts on the, the um, anchor store value, mm. the, the actual value of placing a new bright mm. End of part one. On